Mew is Loki, the trickster god of the Pokemon universe. Now, as soon as I say that, you're probably picturing Loki from the Avengers getting his crap absolutely ruined by the Incredible Hulk. Well, I'm not actually talking about that version of Loki, but I mean in general, I think Mew created the entire Pokemon universe just to entertain himself, including all the god Pokemon. Now, let's jump into a possible timeline theory for Pokemon. So a lot of people are always confused when they're trying to really dissect where the Pokemon universe begins, because we see Arceus, who is claimed to basically be the god of the Pokemon universe, who's said to have hatched from an egg and created the entire universe with a thousand arms, which is great imagery, but at the same time, how the hell do they possibly know that? And Mew, who has the DNA of every single Pokemon inside of him, can learn every single TM, but just kind of floats around and messes with people. He never does anything constructive. He never tells you how to, I don't know, get a proper loan from your loan advisor so you can buy a cool new motorcycle. No, Mew just kind of messes with people. There's the Creation Trio. There's the Lake Guardians. There's all these really, really powerful monsters. But how are they linked back to the origins of the Pokemon universe? Well, my thought is this. In the beginning of the universe, there is a Big Bang. And since it's a Pokemon universe, of course the Big Bang probably even says its own name. Big Bang. Big Bang. Once the Big Bang happens, the universe forms, all stars start to form, all the planets start to form, and one single planet begins to create the first little spot of light, and it creates a being on this planet, named Mew, a creature that is able to create life but nothing else. It has no other ability. It can float around, it can look cool, it's immune to, you know, super herpes, but all it can do is create life. Being a sentient being, though, he grows extremely, extremely bored. He's here. He's on a world of creatures that can only say their own name over and over and over and over, so he doesn't know what else to do. And so he creates Celebi, a being outside of time, and goes, all right, Go to the future, tell me what there is, and he goes forward and comes back, and what does he have? Well, I'm sorry, but there's just millions of more Pokemon in the future, uh, and they're just saying their name a bunch of times too. So Mew pours out all of his power to create a single egg with all of his power, named Arceus, and he gives it to Celebi and says, take this back to the very, very, very beginning so I can have some goddamn entertainment. So that's what he does. Celebi, being a Pokemon outside time, goes back. He rewinds the entire universe to the before the universe even began and sets the egg down. So as the universe hatches, so too does Arceus. With a thousand hands, he appears to be creating the universe, which once has already formed on its own. So when we have our naturally occurring Mew, now Mew can create all the Pokemon life, Arceus can create the sentient human life, and they can play an infinite game of chess. Every time Arceus gets mad and wants to destroy something, Mew can step in and protect it. Every time there's a situation that's a little awry, Mew can come in and visible or shapeshift and mess with people. I mean, even when a lab caught him, he probably let himself be cloned. He wanted Mewtwo to be created just so he could do one more gigantic middle finger to the universe. He loves this. This is a giant game to him. We are all pieces on the checkerboard of the universe. And that's my theory. If you like this Pokemon theory or liked any of my other theories, please check out my Facebook fan page. On there I like to communicate with fans, get ideas for what I'll do for the next video, and let people know when I'm live streaming. Thanks so much for watching guys, this has been a lot of fun to make, but as always, keep dreaming. Also subscribe, subscribe to this channel, please. God I love subscribers, we're almost at a thousand. When we get a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a video game giveaway. Any game under a hundred dollars, you choose it, I buy it. One thousand subscribers, let's do this!